Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and I'd like to show you the improvements we've made to Lyrics in Dorico 3, the advanced music notation software from Steinberg. Dorico has always boasted powerful support for Lyrics, but we're always looking for ways to give you better control of your music notation where you need it, and to make it easier and more fun working with the software. And we've done both of those things with Lyrics in version 3 of Dorico. First of all, it's now possible to adjust the vertical position of an entire line of lyrics across a system. Dorico's default lyric placement is pretty good, and there are great options for adjusting it and automatically spacing lines of lyrics. However, as no two pieces of music are the same, except perhaps for that stuff my daughters like to listen to, then there is always going to be the occasional time that you need to strike out against the automatic behavior. So, switch to engraved mode, and if you select the first lyric item in a system, you'll see there is a new handle showing, and if we drag that handle up and down, we can move the entire system of lyrics vertically. Of course, you can do this purely with the keyboard, and what's great is that you can select any lyric item across the system and use Alt, Up, and Down to move, again, the entire system of lyrics. You can select multiple items on different lyric lines and move them together. Hold down Control, that's Command on Mac, to add to the selection, and they can be on different systems and still move together by the same amount. To reset the line of lyrics to their default position, select one of the lyrics and choose Engrave, Lyric Offsets, Remove Selected System. You can reset all vertical offsets for lyrics across a whole frame or indeed the whole layout here too. As the vertical adjustments that you make here will be due to the specific formatting of music in a particular case, because otherwise you would be better off changing the engraving options and affecting the placement of all lyrics, then if the formatting of the music changes so that the start of the system moves, any offsets for the lyrics on that system will be automatically removed. We've made some other great improvements to how easy it is to work with lyrics as well. Firstly, it's now possible to copy lyrics from Dorico and paste them into another application, such as a word processor. You can also paste within Dorico, for example, into a text frame. Not only that, when you copy some text, either from another application or from within Dorico, you can now paste directly into the lyrics popover and the lyrics will be pasted word by word, or syllable by syllable. This even works when copying lines of lyrics, really useful for contrapuntal music, where each voice sings the same words, but perhaps with different rhythms. You can simply press space or hyphen to create any additional necessary melismas. Editing lyrics is now much easier, thanks to the new Edit Lyric dialog. It can be difficult to spot mistakes with lyrics, as they are more widely spaced than regular text, and then split over multiple systems. With the lyric selected, choose Edit, Lyrics, Edit Line of Lyrics, to launch a dialogue that shows you every word and syllable in that line, letting you scan for errors, or indeed, edit the lyrics if required. You can change the size of the dialogue, and you can increase and decrease the size of the text to make it easier to read. At the bottom of the dialog, you can see the actual number of lyrics along with the target. In other words, the number of lyrics that exist already in that line in the flow. These numbers must remain the same in order to be able to apply any changes. This isn't a place to add or remove lyrics or indeed change their placement or duration against the notes they are attached to. So as long as those numbers are identical, clicking OK or pressing return will confirm the dialogue and the line of lyrics will be rewritten. Anyway, I must go. I need to ask my daughters to turn down the volume of that Baroque concerto they're listening to. I do hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please click the thumbs up button below to let me know you've liked it and subscribe to the Dorico YouTube channel today to see many more videos like this one. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.